Well, you've heard of ways to keep your heart healthy by eating the right foods, but now there is a diet doctors claim can protect your brain's health. It's called the MIND diet, and a new study shows it can prevent Alzheimer's and dementia. Today, we're talking to more Good Day Oregon's medical expert, Dr. Kara Luzzi, about what the diet requires you to eat and cut out. Control what you can control. Dr. Kara Luzzi is a primary care doctor at Legacy Medical Group Bridgeport. She says while many people believe Alzheimer's and dementia are hereditary, that simply isn't the case. There's always an interplay of nature and nurture. So maybe there is that tendency in the family, maybe even for them personally, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they have no control. She encourages patients who are worried about cognitive decline to read more, play more games and puzzles, and to consider the MIND diet. Stands for the Mediterranean DASH Intervention for Neurodegenerative Delay. The DASH in the name of the plan stands for Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension. So the MIND plan is a combo of the Mediterranean and DASH diets. People who adhered to it had a 53% less chance of developing Alzheimer's. People who adhered to it partially had a 35% reduced risk of Alzheimer's. So it's pretty significant. The MIND diet requires you to eat at least one serving of green leafy vegetables a day. Not an iceberg lettuce, but like a kale, spinach, collards, bok choy, for instance, would be good examples. The diet also encourages three servings of whole grains a day. So that's not a slice of Wonder Bread. That's like a whole grain, you know, quinoa or, you know, brown rice, something, you know, not, not a processed grain. It also involves eating a lot of other whole foods. Snacking on walnuts or almonds nearly every day, using olive oil as your cooking base, having berries a couple times a week, having beans every other day, having poultry a couple times a week, trying to avoid butter, avoiding red meats, fast food, eating a full fat cheese less than once a week, and eating sweets or pastries less than five times a week. Dr. Lutzi says she does question the Mind Diet's suggestion to drink one five ounce glass of red wine every day. That's kind of exciting news for some people. I think that needs to be taken cautiously because people with a family history of cancer or a family history or a personal history of abuse need to not necessarily say, oh, I gotta do this for my, for my brain or for my cardiovascular health. But overall, she says this is a diet people can easily stick with and that makes it a good one. I think they're telling you to eat whole foods, fresh foods, lots of produce, um, not as much processed foods and decrease your fatty foods. So overall, I can't see any downsides for more information on Dr. Kara Lutzi, we have a link on our website, kptv.com.